G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Late Night Pouring. Uh, we've just gone into lockdown again from 6pm tonight. So, just as well I went and got my toilet paper. <laughs> I didn't even know we were going into lockdown, but I had to go and do my weekly shop. So, uh, the shelves were pretty much bare already and I'm thinking, what's going on? And then when I got home, I realised, yep, we're going into lockdown for another three days. So, um, I am still working tomorrow, but I wanted to try something out. Um, and I wasn't going to video it, and then I thought, oh, if it works, you guys are going to want to say, how did you do that? So I thought, I'll, I'll just video it. But um, it's just a little just a little quickie, okay? Now, I saw um, something similar to these um, on a YouTube channel by the gorgeous Sandra Lett. Hi, Sandra! She's been doing some amazing coasters and like wavy type of clocks with her new mold. Looks amazing. I think she did like a, this might have been a little while ago, I can't remember, but I saw it on her channel. It was gold and black and then she pulled the stick through. Um, I'm going to do something similar, but I'm going to do gold and navy and then probably if it works, I'll put some of this holographic black glitter on the background. So... Um, I've got my resin sitting here. It's this one, the Platinum 360 Plus. It's been sitting for 30 minutes in the little cup here. It's getting warm, nice and toasty. It's a cold rainy day outside, <laughs> so it's nice and warm. So, um, yeah, I thought I want to sort of start piping at 45 minutes if I can. So. I'm just going to get my little scale out and I'm going to put 15 grams of resin in each, that's half an ounce. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Can you hear the rain? There we go, fifteen. Alright, so that's that one. And then 15 in this one. Oh, I haven't got my center organized. I thought I was all organized, but I haven't got anything organized for my center. Oh my gosh. All right. So I need a little bit left for my center. What can I put in my center? Oh, what can I use? What can I use? Now I'm going to be in a rush, aren't I? I'm going to put you on pause just for one sec and I'll find something to put in the centre. Uh, if you will go on pause. I always have trouble putting you on pause. I was looking at my glitters but none of them are really dark enough. I found that little plastic flower. I'm just going to use that. I'm in a hurry. <laughs> so I want it to be that side down. Hopefully that's the centre. It's just a little plastic flower thing. Um, oh, so I don't actually—I don't actually need to have another cup to mix up my glitter in, then, do I? Nope. All right, um, I'll pop that in in a second. I made up 120 grams of resin. I haven't. I was going to say I haven't really used this resin for a flower. I used it the other day to do <clears throat> that um, little bowl that I made. And I wasn't really happy with the outcome of my flowers. I don't even know if that's working. I can't hear it because of the rain. So I want to have another go. All right, let's pop that in. If you use a thicker type of resin, like a resin that has a, a quicker setup time and it's a, this one, I think it's got about, oh gee, actually I don't know, I shouldn't tell you because I don't actually know, probably about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. <laughs> Alright, let's get to the, um, let's get to these colours. Now I'm going to do two drops of the Cast and Craft. In each. Like normally I would do one drop per 10 grams which would be two drops in 20 grams but I can't do one and a half drops so it's just gonna be that. 
I'm going to do a little bit, what's that, something's in there, a little bit of the, the navy, not quite dark, I, I'm not sure, that's just Art Tree Creations dip as you write, hopefully it'll give me a, a nice dark navy. The problem is because I'm putting white in there, it may not, you know, go as dark. Nope, it's not. Oh gosh. Okay. And then the other one is the gold. It's the Lares Bright Gold. Put some of that in there. How am I going for time? Five minutes until I need to be... No, five minutes? Where did I put? Oh no, no, it's alright. I've got another ten minutes. I might put some um, alcohol ink in as well, just to try and darken that colour. Like I said, I wasn't really planning on doing a video, so I'm not that prepared for you guys. Like, if it was just me, oh god, look at that, that's kind of a grey, ooh, don't like that. Ew. Um, uh, if no, it was just me, I, I wouldn't worry about <clears throat> the colours. Um, I'd just sort of get them later on, but because you guys are all watching, I'm getting my... ink out. Oh gosh, sky blue. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Bear with me, bear with me. I'll just grab one of my others that's standing here on the on the shelf already. Mm. Navy, there we go, I've got a navy, and pinata, rich gold. I've got a navy in this one, it's um, deco rom, and then I've got the rich gold in the pinata. I'm just going to give it a squirt, I'm not going to count drops, I'm just going to go, whoops, squirt, whoops, I think it's empty. <laughs> I'm not getting much out at all. Okay, that's empty. And this one's navy, so hopefully this will give us a nice darkish colour. Hope so. Not really. Okay. Um, never mind. I'm just going to go with it. I probably shouldn't have put the white in there, but I wanted to see what it would do. I guess I could have just used the mica powder, but I wanted to I wanted to see what the white would do. And add some more of this. it's not too much probably is too much stuff now added to the resin I've gone over my 10% oh my gosh listen to that rain oh it's still not looking any better you guys it's just looking like an icky dark grey never mind we'll just go with it hey right that's the gold And there's our kind of smoky blue. <laughs> oh my gosh. Next time I'm going to try it just without the white pigment and see how that works. Now I've got my two little cups there. Oh, oh, the tripod was sitting on this. And I'm going to pop the little bag in there. Like so. And the other one, great these little piping bags, you just get them from eBay, well I do anyway. Alright, let's put the blue in here. I 
Oh, the other thing I want to try too, like you're going to see more of these 3D flowers coming up because I want to, I did them but they were ages ago. I want to have another, have another try at them. I might try, um, instead of the white pigment paste, I'm going to try actual coloured pigment paste. So I'll go with the, the white if I'm doing white, but then when I'm doing the blue, I'm going to try like a blue pigment paste um, and see if that works. What do you think? So I'll be just been doing little ex um, experiments and seeing if that works with the blue pigment paste instead of the white pigment paste. All right, so now we take that out. Where's my scissors? Over there. Let me check that you're still with me. It's kind of like a steel grey. It sort of matches that now. And I haven't made up a lot because I'm only doing one coaster. It doesn't feel very hot, you know. It's cooled down now that I've put it in there. So we're coming up to the 45 minute mark now that the resin's been sitting. And I want to make a reasonably big hole in the top. You can see some bubbles there. Just filled this up the other day. It doesn't seem to be working very well. I always have trouble filling them up. I think they fall and then they, you know, I get like a day's worth out of it. And then I think, no, nah, I mustn't have filled it up properly. Okay, so here we go. Now, can you see there, see that clear section on the end? What I tend to do is cut halfway through that little clear section. So I want a decent size hole. Let's test that. There's that one. And there's that one. Mm, doesn't seem to be quite as big. All right, so I'm going to start with gold because we've got already got the blue. Actually, let me get a piece of paper towel. That way I'm not going to dirty my piddle pad too much and I can use it again for another video. Okay. Now I'm going to do... I was going to do circles, but I think I'll follow this little, I think I'll follow the pattern here of the flower because it's already kind of got petals. So, yeah, I'll do the stick another time. Now, where, you, where your two sort of lines join, you, you can sometimes get a bit of a blob. But I will pull a stick through that just to sort of smooth them out a little bit. Wind that back up again. I'll just keep going until I've used all my colour. You've got to make sure that that doesn't drag in your resin. I might be able to get another gold and then another blue, actually, if I'm lucky. But you've got to get as close to the edge of your coaster as you can because the resin, like the colour, is going to pull in from the outside in and then you'll get a bit of a gap around the outside anyway. So try and get it as close to the edge as you can. And we are done. Look at that. Let me get rid of this. Now, where, like I said, where those little blobs are. Actually, I might not use a stick. I might use this little guy. This little guy that I've got. With the little soft nozzle, a tip thing on the end. I shouldn't have thrown my paper towel away. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to, from here, I'm just going to come in through the center just to kind of smooth those blobs out. 
because there's a lot of blobs you know where I've joined each petal if you do that hopefully it'll sort of move all the blobs to the side rather than have them drop to the bottom okay Oops, this is a hair. now do I want to go up through I think I'll do that let's do that I'm gonna go up because it's gonna hit the um, side of the mold I'm actually gonna go up and over the top like that otherwise I won't get a point I'll just clean up that edge later on alrighty well that's looking pretty now I'm gonna give it a bit of a heat with my heat gun just on low Actually, I'll put it on high. Popping bubbles, go all the way around, pop some bubbles, and then push from the outside in, outside in, outside in, outside in. Just go around twice, and that's it. And um, I'm going to leave it at that. Now I'm going to get a little baby wipe, and I'm just going to go around here. Just clean that up while it's still wet clean up my mess much easier to clean up resin when it's wet isn't it than when it's dry make sure that your surface is nice and level I've got a pop stick under this end and a piece of cardboard under that end just to level it up all right now I wonder what it's going to look like let me get my gloves off I won't take you down for a close-up now, but I will come back in. Actually, I will, because I've got to get the camera down anyway. Oh. All right. I'll put some alcohol rub on my hands there. Let's get you down for a close-up. Hopefully it works, and then I can put the Larissi on the, the background. Around we go. Around the table. Okay. It's not looking too bad actually. I thought it was going to be a icky greyish colour, but it's it's not bad actually. It kind of matches that middle little flower thing that I did. Okay, so now we're hoping that it's all going to kind of bloom and spread. You can see the you can see there because um, it was you know much thinner when I piped it. You can see that it's widened. Oh, it's going to go on there because I've gone through and hit the, the coaster. So I've got a bit of a gap. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Huh. All right. So um, I'll see what happens. I'll come back in half an hour and we'll see if that's all closed up. All right. See you soon. Hey, guys, I'm back. It's been about half an hour. Oh, I'll just put you on autofocus and then I'll lose the light. So it's pretty much closed in. There's just a little bit in the center there that hasn't closed in. And that's probably where I've stuck the little tool in and pulled the resin up. So see the edges there? See how they're kind of jagged? That happens when I put a lot of alcohol ink in and if I don't put a lot of alcohol ink in I get more of a rounded scalloped edge. But it's really pretty. I'm just so keen to see what the back's going to look like. So um, uh, what's the time now? <clears throat> I don't know that I'll have enough time to put a... It's 8pm. I don't know if I'll have enough time to put a top coat on because I've got to go to work tomorrow so I can't stay up too late but we'll see. If it's set enough, I'll put the top layer on. Um, this Lurissi, that's what I was planning on using. I don't know whether it's a, maybe I'll just do a plain black. We'll see, because it's, see, it's got the holographic, it picks up all these different colors. So I don't know that that's going to work very well with this. Um, so I don't know, I'll have a think about it. 
Uh, so anyway, I'll, whatever I choose to do the background with, I will see you then. Guess what, guys? It's 10 p.m. I can do this before I go to bed. Ah, sweat! No. <laughs> Only joking. Look, I can touch it. Oh, did I scare you? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Right. Um, I, I don't know what the back's going to look like, but let's put some of this in anyway, hey? I've got my resin. I made up 80 grams of A and 35 grams of B. Same resin. Isn't it great that you can come and do a top coat in like two hours? Has it been two hours? I can't remember what time I started. Oh, here we go. Let's get that open. But yeah, it's great that you can come and do a top coat in like two hours. Now, if this is too transparent when I add this, like I don't want to use it all. Um, if it's too transparent, I'll put a couple of drops of um, black pigment paste in. But let's see what it looks like with a bit of that in it. It's the Lurisi Holographic. I should put my other glove on now, shouldn't I? I didn't want to do it when I was opening that packet but I probably do need to now so you can see when you do that it's quite transparent so 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 I think I'll just let's just put it like in one drop oh my gosh this is just cast and craft um, because it's a liquid it's easy just to sort of drop a little bit in And just see what that's going to do. Hopefully it's not going to change like the holographic effect. <laughs> it hasn't done much, has it? You can still see the stick. All right, let's do a little bit more. Just a little squeeze. Got to get your squeeze in, don't you? Yeah, so hopefully that won't change the holographic effect. All right, so I'm going to leave it at that. I don't want to make it too dark because I want to be able to see all those pretty little glistening colours. And because, you know, I'm doing a relatively thick layer, um, hopefully it'll look kind of darkish. <laughs> if it ends up being a bit um, transparent, it won't matter. Okay, here we go. Let's pour it on. looks pretty oops did I make too much <laughs> I might have made up too much actually oh my gosh now I've got a tiny little bit of holographic resin here that does look very pretty doesn't it wow I better take some off actually it's a little bit full I'll have to try and do something with that. Actually, you know what? I've got a pen. I've got a pen mold. That would be really pretty as a pen, wouldn't it? Black holographic pen. Now let's give this a bit of a torch. Okay. Where is my pen mold? I shouldn't be starting anything this time of night. That's the problem. I think that's the one I, I've used previously. I wonder if I can just move you over and let you share. Hey? Why not? <laughs> Give it a bit of a blow, get the dust out if there's any dust in it. It shouldn't be. It's been in the drawer. All right. Uh, there's probably too much to go in there, but look, I don't want to waste it, so let's just... Pour it in, and I can have a little, um, hang on, I've got to put the ink thing in, don't I? Do I have to do that now, or do I do that later? Oh, I think I do it now. Hang on, hang on, I'm going to go and get an ink thing. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to put you on pause while I go and find it, because I'm sure it's in a packet somewhere. Hang on. Found them. <clears throat> they would have to be in the last place I looked. 
wouldn't they? Of course. Now, um, I think this is the end where the nib goes. I think. I think that goes in there. Actually, if you look really carefully, you probably can't see it actually. If you look really carefully, just at the end here, there's a little nibby thing and the end has to go in there. The end of the pen has to go in there like that. And Oh, okay. Oh gosh. Where is it? There. Okay, I've got it. Don't panic, I've got it. <laughs> yeah, should have done that before I put the resin in. All right. Um, let me get my glove back on. You can see that ring of bubbles that's come up. See around the, the outside there? I'll give that a torch momentarily. Let's pour some resin in. I'm going to give it a bit of a tap, tap, tap. Get it to run down. And underneath that little ink thingy, refill, ink refill thing. <laughs> I'm not shaking the pen loose. I'm going to take it right up. Because when if you haven't used these pens before, it's not a totally round pen, like one side's flat. So you get a curved side and then this side is flat. But in saying that, if you can dome your resin, as much as possible it's kind of rounded on the other side as well and it won't have a lip so it won't be sharp so just fill it as much as you can without it overflowing so you're gonna be really careful and look at that there's a tiny bit left so I did really well with that organizing that <laughs> all right now I'm going to torch these bubbles and then I'm going to bed tuck the dogs in and go to bed. Oh, and then I can unmold in the morning before I go to work. Not that you'll see the video tomorrow because I've got something else to put up tomorrow. Um, you'll see my bling coaster video before you'll see this one because it's ready, it's done, it's edited, it's done. So, um, nighty nighties. <laughs> Um, and I'll see you guys next time for the um, grand unmolding and we get to unmold two pieces. How exciting is that? Very exciting. All right. Thanks for being with me for late night pouring. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, it's the next day and I'm back. They've set. Now, how do we get the pen out? I hope I put it in the right way. <laughs> oh, there we go. Let's get this baby out and have a little look at it. Oh, look at the glitter. The glitter being heavy, it does fall down to the back. Oh, I've got a little bit of overflow there. <clears throat> Actually, that comes out really easily. Look at that. It's out. I have a pen. Woohoo! <laughs> I might take that to work with me today and use it. So your little tiny bit of overflow there. Where's my clippers? Where's my little nail clippers? <clears throat> Probably the easiest thing to use. I mean, you could sand it as well, but... Oh, that's not my nail clippers. I grabbed something black. That's not it. Hang on. No, I can't put you on pause. Um, where are they? Where are they? <clears throat> I just grabbed black handles. <laughs> there it is. There's my little clippers. All right. Let's just snip that off. I think when it's a bigger piece like this, I think it's easier just to 
snip that off. Um, but the, oh, it's dropped. And then um, you know, if there's anything left over, then sand. Like so. Okay, and then I'll just sand the, the rest. Oh, that came out really easily. That was fun. Now the the um, end of this is just a little plastic ball that you have to take off. If I can get it off. I've got half of it off. There we go. Let's peel it off. It's stuck on with the resin. And there we go. Let's see if it works, hey? Let's see if my new pen works. Oops, it's a bit bendy still. But it works. I better not take it to work yet. It's a bit bendy still. Just on there. Just on the tip. Anyway, there we go. That was fun. Right, let's get this flower coaster out. I'll try and get it away from that ring light. Loosen it all the way around. Okay. There we go. Oh, look, we've got a little bit of transparency through there. A little bit. <clears throat> you can see the shape of the petals underneath. All right. So the glitter would have fallen to the underside. You can't really see that much of it on here, but that's okay because it, it's the other side that you want to see. Right, are we ready? One. Oh my gosh, what's that? Two. Three. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Wow, look at that. I know this probably doesn't do it justice this little flowery thing that I put in the center but it matches the colors really well oh wow those petals shut the front door those petals are amazing and here was I thinking I'd ruined it by adding um, blue mica powder and lots of alcohol ink and <laughs> more blue mica powder and we had the white paste in there as well. I thought, oh, for sure this is not going to work. And what do you think of all the glittery around it? Is it okay? I mean, it's picking up a little bit of the blue. But we've also got some other colours. Being holographic, it's picking up lots of different colours in there. So what do you think of it? My flower's mainly in the centre, which looks nice. I'm really happy with that. Wow. You can't really pick up the gold shimmer, not really. I mean, you can see a bit of it there, but in reality, it's very shimmery. And the blue, the navy, is also a bit shimmery, not as shimmery as the gold. Oh, wow, I'm really happy with that. So, another tick for the um, Platinum 360 Plus. Because not all resins will do this. The... Um, the 3D flower. I've tried quite a few different resins and, and most of them don't really work. I've only found two that do work. And this one is just amazing. <gasps> wow. Oh, I'm going to paint the edges in gold. Stay there. No, oh, can't put you on pause. I'm going to get my gold pen. It's early in the morning. I haven't even had my coffee yet. I was keen to see what this looked like. So I'm not very prepared. Why aren't you focusing? There we go. So just going to use the Deco colour. Put the pen over there for a minute. So you can see, you can see the sides there. Where half is glitter and then half is clear. I do find that I get a better um, flower if I make my resin a little bit deeper. Um, it's got more, the the, res, the the flower's got more room to like move. If you only have a really thin amount, it's sort of more flat. Okay, here we go. Just the edge. 
That gold's a nice match actually. Gold colour. Some golds are more yellow than others. This is just a pretty one. And you know how a lot of times you get bubbles stuck in your edges there? Um, again, it depends on the resin you're using, like how easily the bubbles are released and how many bubbles you get. I've had some that get lots and lots of bubbles you know stuck in the edges here and uh, then you have to kind of sand them but it's not always easy to do because it leaves a little hole some people say you can fill them in with um, nail polish the little bubbles the holes I've never personally tried that but um, I don't see why it wouldn't work Going over again, make sure I'm getting a good coverage on that. Shake my pen. Okay, I think I've been around twice now. There it is, look at it! Oh my gosh, it's so pretty! That's one of my favourite flowers I've done. I guess maybe it would have looked better with just some gold glitter in the centre. Or maybe some of this navy glitter, but I didn't have any. I only had um, like a, you know, a really bright blue, and I didn't think it would suit. So the only sort of matching colour I had was that little guy. Oops, I dropped a bit of glitter on her. Anyway, there we go. Um, I have to go and get have to, well, I have to go and get ready for work. Uh, there we go. I'm trying to pick up the. The shimmer for you. There we go, I love it. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. I'm definitely going to do these again. I've ordered some um, pigment pastes in metallics just to see if um, I can get a, a better result. But <laughs> uh, that's amazing. I don't know that I can do better than that. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Have a great day. Bye for now.